guys, it's me. Stranger from the outside. Uh, what is good, y'all? Maybe this is a new start to a vlog, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys stay throughout. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hope you enjoy the vibes. We just got from the liquor store. She got a twisted tea. And you know, we gotta get some Ronas. We're just at the shop. We're about to leave. Now we're gonna come back, pull up with some drinks, enjoy, just do what we do. Repairing wheels, man. Repairing other people's improper work. Always, man. A little too. I've been wanting to do that, guys. To get one of those things so I could practice uh, porting out my intake manifolds and shit. Oh, yeah. So I like I could do it myself when the time comes on the RRC or whatnot. Mm. <laughs> See if I could do this. This shit. This is cool. Uh, Day two. Hope y'all see me good. Hopefully it's in focus. Yeah, we secured it. We secured it. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> Brody, man. Hit him up. Beach Bum 240SX on IG. The next day. Alright, so we have to bring this back to my red dress. He has to touch up a spot real quick. Like, completely, like... I like disregarded it. That being said, I am bringing it back. It is beautiful. I did my sleep in the morning, so I got like five hours of sleep in. Just about to head to my brother's shop. Boy needs some bud, cause I got none. And I need some. We trying to find like some good buds and whatnot, but like can't be paying fifty dollars an eighth for just eighths and shit like that, bro. Like I, I smoke too much to be paying that much for that little. Yeah, hopefully find some and continue on with the day. I wanted to paint some stuff. I'm gonna paint like my valve cover and like some brackets and stuff. Things that I can that are like metal. Strip it down as much as I can, then repaint it. It's kind of what the plan was ish today. Pepper! Uh, all right. I'm gonna have some food in our system. We're making beef patties and cocoa bread. It's not the best spot. I haven't really tried too many other drinking spots, but hey, this is pretty good. This is convenient. I like it. Get my beef patties going and shit. Had the bricks on that, you feel me? It's a beef patty. Beef patty, cocoa bread. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't demonetize me. Can you guys tell what this shit is for? Can you tell what that is for, you know? Bunch of spray paint and primer and clear respirator, cause last time when we did my sway bar, I had it all up in my nose, my face. Yeah, that shit wasn't fun. I was trying to figure out what to do. I decided I'm gonna like refresh the engine base some more and some parts and older parts. I got cast aluminum for like, I'm gonna take off like the heat shield thing that I got that's on the rack and pinion. It's protecting that, paint that. Maybe like the uh, motor mount brackets, things like that. Then for the valve cover, I got gloss white. I was really iffy about this, but like, I don't know. I feel like gloss white would be fire. Like you open up the hood and you just see a gloss white in valve cover. I don't know, it just seems like it'd be fire. You gotta make sure it is heat resistant. So I got that, then the gloss clear. Three steps. Uh, today I might start with just scuffing shit down and then tomorrow painting, cause running around to like stores a lot and it took up a lot of time so that being said painting and shit like that takes time because there's three steps to it and you gotta do it three coats of each step basically you gotta let it dry and it's shit's gonna take a while so i'd rather not rush and try to make it nice tomorrow we're gonna pick up on that today i might start scuffing everything down that i need to and you know just do it take our quick break real quick and come back to some shit you know all right uh, so we're back weather is not as good it's a little windy and shit so hopefully it still works out we're gonna start with the valve cover i gotta like clean it down and scuff it up i don't think i have to use like paint stripper because there's no like paint it's just like the metal and i have to scuff it up and then i'll put the primer the base coat paint and then the clear there's like three coats of each step so this is a little process i don't know it's gonna be my first time doing it 
Hopefully it works out, you know, well. As you guys can tell, I'm, you know, walking again and shit, like moving. I still have a little bit of pain, soreness and shit. I weighed myself yesterday. I'm 202 pounds. It's the lowest I've been so far in a while. And I haven't actually been hitting the gym that much. I took like two, two and a half week break because of my back. And now canceling my membership and whatnot because I'm going to Florida in like a couple weeks and stuff. There's no point to keep the membership and have them take my money and whatnot. So I'm just gonna wait until I you know, go to Florida and start my gym activities again or at home like workouts and shit. But I, I have like this bike and I go on walks with Sky and, and you know I've been eating pretty Pretty decent, pretty good. It's more of a calorie deficit thing, so I'm not like overeating and I'm drinking water and stuff. I'm down a little like 15 pounds so far. The most I think I hit was 218, and after that I was like, yo, fuck this shit. So I started, you know, trying to cut back. I want to get down to like 180-ish. I want to slim cut, and then fucking bulk up, because your boy is trying to get rich. You know, right now I'm a little. <laughs> Enough with the life updates. I've been packing a little bit, moving things around. Always a whole lot of shit going on. And I'm still trying to give you guys content, think of what to do, and still be motivated to do it out here. But that being said, let me get the setup going and whatnot. All right, guys, so got everything I need right here. We got the primer. We got the gloss white that I went with. I feel like it would be kind of sick. I know it might get dirty, but I feel like gloss white would be sick with the, you know, the white pearl. Gloss clear to make it nice and shiny. Then this is for like other things in the engine bay. Clean this up a bit, then scuff it up, start the process. Before we really get into the process, I wanna make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe, man. Grind into 5K subscribers, and I just appreciate you guys. The daily comments, the daily growth, and you guys consistently watching me. Like, I, I didn't ever think people would actually watch me or be entertained or, you know, be inspired and stuff, and that's exactly what I like love to do. So I appreciate you guys and I always enjoy your comments and feedback and conversing with you guys. So yeah, keep them comments coming and we just live in rich. All purpose cleaner up in this. And I'm not worrying about the little coil packs in there because I believe I bought new ones. Refresh the head, the same thing with the valve cover seal. Should be good. Got ourselves a little bit of this. Let's get some soapy water and moisten up. Oh, let's just keep on scrubbing away. I don't know if I should paint in there or not. All right, I'll come back to you guys when I got this cleaned up, all right? It all cleaned up. I'm gonna go hit it with 180 grit, then smoothing it out with 100, I think. I believe that should work. And yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. <laughs> guess we'll see. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back because I gotta update TikTok. Back to scuffing this thing up. I think I have to go too crazy, you know, you just have to scuff it up and smoothen it out. Alright, so I got it scuffed up. I hit it with 180 right now. And I'm gonna come back and hit it with the 600, smoothing things out. Yeah, you can just feel the night and day difference. You definitely wanna rough it up then smoothen it out. Alright, now that I'm a mess, dusty and shit, we got it all sanded down, scuffed up, all smoothing. Now we just have to use some soapy water, and now we're just gonna clean this whole thing off again. After cleaning it like this, then you have to grab your alcohol and then degrease the whole thing and make sure it's nice and degreased and clean so there's no type of like issues or bonding issues to the surface and whatnot because contaminated. I got it all masked up for the most part. Uh, I try to get it as best as I can. Some of these areas are a little f***ing wonky. I've never masked anything like this before. I don't do like painting, body work, all that shit, but I'm learning and it was a little bit of process, it was a bit tedious. My back was starting to ache again because just the uh, position and shit, so I kind of had to like 
call it quits on this because I don't want to stress my back out again because I'm starting to feel these muscle pumps moving around. And this weather's not looking too good right now. And maybe take other things out the TSX and start painting stuff as well. That's why I got the aluminum paint for. Yeah, there's other things I want to refresh and make look better. It's going to be a lot of sanding, a lot of process. But hey, I'm here for it. It's content and fun for you guys to learn and see too. Or for me to fuck up and see what not to do. So hey, stay tuned for tomorrow. Peace. What up guys, we are back with another day. We are starting here now. It's real nice and warm today, surprisingly. It's fall, Connecticut weather is real f***ing weird. I'd rather this than the cold, so. Yeah, we got my little setup right here. Uh, I got this little bin to cover it when it's drying and like debris doesn't fall and get on it and whatnot. Clean it up, disinfect it again with alcohol, and then we, you know, start laying down the primer and stuff, so let's do it. We're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Started. Now we're just gonna have to wait, I don't know, a couple minutes, then we're gonna lay the second coat, wait a couple minutes, third coat, wait a couple minutes, then next to paint. While I'm waiting, I might go try to get some other parts and see what I could do. We got the primer done. Not too shabby. Shabby. Oh yeah. Guys, look. Take off the cap. The first thing I fucking notice. This shit is busted, bro. It's fucking busted. Now, I gotta go back to a fucking auto zone and return this. So guys, you have it there. I have to come back tomorrow and finish it up. Well, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and finish it up because I ain't going to the store today to return it and do all that because I be tired of running around the stores because that legit takes up so much time of my day and it's so and annoying and shit like that always tends to fucking happen and ruin things that I planned for in this video and things like that I wanted to progress so I'm fucking annoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Rich bitch and I'm out. Went actually to O'Reilly's earlier and picked up another gloss white. The only one too. And I almost thought they didn't have it. It was hiding. Yeah, hopefully this one fucking works because what the fuck. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. The rack and pinion like shield or whatever that goes like next to it. I scuffed it up and whatnot. Uh, I still gotta like degrease it. Alright. Not gonna lie guys, I'm a little bit nervous about this part. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me shake this up. We'll see. Oh, So guys, it's definitely not gonna come out exactly how I want, and I'm hoping there's gonna be enough spray paint in here. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking annoyed because of how it like spat out and you know put mad like dots into it. So I think that first coat is kind of done drying. I'm um, gonna lift it and put on the second. coming out all right not the greatest but it's all right we'll, we'll see how it you know finalizes with the final coat I'm being a little too fast with the spray paint uh, I'm kind of noticing that yeah stay tuned for a second third step third step third you see that quality though yeah. yeah I don't know I'm gonna try to paint this too I don't know if I have to primer it but I'm going to that shit came out real nice looking uh, it seems like it's drying up pretty quickly, so let that do its thing real quick, then paint it. So, obviously a little bit of runs and shit, first time, whatever. Cause it's kind of glossy, uh, it's looking a little bit better. I need to let this one sit for a little while now. Um, 
say a good 30 minutes, maybe 45. Let me go finish painting that thing. You guys see this cast aluminum. Hopefully that'll be a decent color for this and you know, look good. See, this one's spraying good. Compared to the white one. This actually looks really good. I'm a big fan of how this color like puts out on the metal. back much later because I got some pizza and I chilled ate whatever I let the paint dry a lot it actually looks real nice I don't look crazy bad but not exactly what I'd want whatever whatever it looks cooler than before right or wrong what do you guys think all right y'all so we are back uh, much much later as you can tell I went and took a nap after I finished clearing I was tired as f so end result I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off Rock like Ace Up, like the weed and take off, so high I cannot see Adolf